right, the countdown is on to the opening of Las Vegas' newest casino. Good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us here at 430. I'm Christian Casares. I'm Kirsten Joyce. Resorts World will open to the public tomorrow evening. Joe Moeller got a look inside today. He is live with a preview for us. Hey, Joe. Hey there, guys. What an exciting time for Las Vegas. Uh, this is the first resort to open on the Las Vegas Strip, uh, being built from the ground up in more than a decade. Now, take a look behind us here. Uh, the, here at Resorts World, they want to make sure this is a unique experience. I mean, just look at all the monitors on the outside. It's unlike anything we else we really see here on the Strip. Now, we went inside earlier today. We got a peek at the nine pools with bars and restaurants, the international food options in a number of areas throughout the resort, and the three hotel lobbies that each made a state of their own. Now, the more than $4 billion property is bringing a unique gambling experience to the Strip as well. We spoke to Rick Hudson, uh, the, resorts world, uh, the Resorts World VP of Casino. He says guests can now transfer money virtually to a Resorts World app, pick an amount to bet, and share a QR code. I then show that QR code to our dealer, Mark, and he'll scan it, and it'll automatically log me in to this seat debits my cashless wagering account. He gives me chips. When it comes to food, there are plenty of options with dozens of eateries, restaurants from around the country and the world have opened up shop in the famous foods area of the resort, which is more of a food hall along the casino. Another area called the district is where you can find more sit down options and retail. Now back out here live, you're taking another look uh, outside of Resorts World here. You can see some of those crews are still out there trying to put those finishing touches on the outside uh, on those giant monitors that are out there. Now the resort's grand opening ribbon cutting ceremony is happening tomorrow at 6.30 outside here, and uh, it'll open to the public tomorrow at 11 p.m. I'll send it back to you. Joe, those restaurants look to die for. How exciting. It's going to be great for tourists and locals alike. You mentioned finishing touches. Um, as we go past there, it looks like, you know, as you mentioned, some work still being done. Is everything going to be completed on time? Well, I'm going to give you another look out here. There's plenty of crews out here. Uh, you can see some uh, big bulldozers or different uh, tractors and things out here. Crews working on the screens. Everything is basically finished uh, with Resorts World. There's still the, the day club and night club have to be finished. The theater needs to be finished as well. But uh, the casino, the restaurants, the, uh, most of the restaurants, that is, the eateries are all set to be uh, done and complete for tomorrow night. I'll send it back to you. Hey, thanks very much, Joe Mola, reporting live on the Las Vegas Strip. Christian?